Hi everybody, Joshua here with the Heavy Piano YouTube channel. We're going to talk about how to play uh, Elliot Smith's Pictures of Me on the piano. I'm going to base this off of my, uh, my version that I just posted yesterday. So let's get right into it with chords and notes for the melody. And then at the, near the end of the video, I will talk about um, some of the rhythms I'm thinking about and some techniques for trying to uh, make it your own uh, when you're practicing at home. So we're in the key of D. I think I started with a little like um, back and forth on those D octaves um, to kind of simulate the, the synth of the organ that Elliot uses at the beginning of the song. And then my first chord uh, is just a D major triad. And we're gonna go ahead and raise the fifth. That A sharp sound for that raised fifth sound. Then we have a D seven. D major seven, C sharp, D. So our note is just walking up from A, A sharp, C natural, C sharp, D. And so then when our verse comes in for that first verse, we're on D major. We're gonna go to E seven. Same melody notes there. And then we're go to B flat over F. This time it'll be F natural, G minor. And there's just a real quiet um, walking down G, A, G sharp, G7 to the G7 chord. A major. B flat chord, then it goes to B flat over F, A over E, back to B flat over F. We're gonna do that much again. D to E7, B flat over F, G minor. I think in my version I do it octaves to, oct uh, to emphasize that kind of that little line down to the G7 out of the G minor. A, B flat, same chord with the F in the root. A over E, B flat over F. And then our line is just walking down from B flat. to C for the chorus. Let me play that much together a little bit faster. Chorus here, C. G over B. To B flat. That little line. Excuse me, let me start that over again. So chorus on C to G over B. B flat. G minor, D minor, do it again, G over B, B flat, G minor, and then the last time, A7, you get that kind of clash, singing the D natural over the A chord, and then we're going to go into our next verse. It's going to follow those chords again, starting with a D. E7. B, B flat over F. To G minor. G7. A. B flat. B flat over F. A over E. 
and this time we're going to cut it short to we're going to go right back to the beginning chord and D chord E7 B flat over F to G minor G7 again we have that little line leading into the chorus. Now we're going to have the chorus three times here on C, G over B, B flat, G minor, D minor, And this time, instead of going into the G minor, we're going to go to the B flat over F, A over E, to B flat. And we're going to do this three times. B flat over F, A over E. B flat there. Okay, so I started to play a little, a few more notes in there and fill the chords out a little bit and play some rhythm. So what am I thinking about? So uh, again, I talked about that kind of the back and forth octave at the very beginning to simulate, <coughs> excuse me, simulate the synth and organ at the top. Um, there's that rhythm. I found what felt the best to me was kind of doing. for the introduction, just root and then the other part of the triad. And then on that downbeat, when the verse starts, I actually pulled the left hand out. Let's see. And then came back in with it. So my thought process was pretty quiet and simple, not a whole lot of uh, inner voicings for the first time through the verse, and the second time filled out a little more with some rhythm. So the first time through, I might play it with um, just maybe just root octave in the left hand, or maybe just root fifth. Let's see here. Uh, let me come into that. Pretty simple, everything on, on the pulse of the beat. All my chords are lining up on the pulse of the beat. Second time through the verse, I might change it a little bit. Kind of fill out the chord. And then those octaves. really thinking about leading into that chorus on the C. So filling some rhythm in there, some inner voices, um, some like inner moving uh, notes in between the chords instead of just keeping everything strictly on the pulse. So then there's that build, bringing the, chord, bringing the octave up. Some 
rhythms out there to get some syncopation. Um, adding octaves in there, going an octave up. Uh, let's see here. I know what I wanted to say. Um, I experimented a little bit with like a stride kind of feel kind of thing, and I I actually didn't like that. I do it a few times in my in my version, but um, I kind of kept the pulse going in the left hand. The left hand was driving forward when the melody and the supporting notes of the right hand are kind of like building it, if that makes sense. There's my kind of some of the chords I'm doing there, the root, the octaves, and then the third. There's those clashing notes there. The D becomes the fourth in the A major. Then we'll come back to our verse. We've got a third verse. You can fill some more rhythm and some more notes in there to make it drive a little more. And then coming out of that verse, you know, it's, it's a little short. And then we have that. I, I made sure to bring my, uh, my chords up here. It's kind of the instrumental part in the verse. Those Ds are really prominent in the recording, in the Elliot's recording of the song. And then that. Kind of pull back more to the pulse there. You know, and then really big for the last few choruses. And then do try to leave yourself a little bit of room to build and grow as you go through. Um, and the last time I play the chorus, so the melody is on the C. And then the very last time, I was trying to match the harmony you know, that third above. Um, I don't know if I got it exactly right, but uh, let's see here. Hmm. So the B flat over F, A over E, and the B flat with the B flat and the root is definitely more of a solid like finishing point. So I liked using that voice in the B flat over F, A over E. To my ear, it sounded like it kind of wanted to go somewhere, um, it, like wanted to complete the idea. Um, and so at the end, when you end on, the, on that tonic, that B flat and the with the root and the bass, it really feels like it, it finishes. Um, I think I. You know, brought the octave up. I do that a lot in my arrangements just to kind of like, I, I wasn't quite ready to finish it for the version that I, I did. But I hope that answers any questions about what I was thinking about and the chords and melody for that song, Elliot Smith's Pictures and Me. Uh, big thank you to my patrons for supporting this channel and to all the new people that signed up. Um, this is kind of a weird time. Uh, with uh, COVID-19 and everything in the news. So um, I really do appreciate everyone's support of this channel. It's a big help. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below, and uh, I will catch you everybody next time. Thanks for watching.